I was at home in bed and a friend called me and said that the baths were being raided and said, did I want to come down? So I got my tape recorder, he got his camera, and we went down to the club baths. By the time we got there, the raid had been going on, I think, for some time. The policemen were bringing found-ins out, putting them in the paddy wagon. More people came to stand outside, and of course, from time to time, uh, gays came along who were going to go into the baths, and we warned them not to go there, but that wasn't our purpose, really, in being there. It was really to see what was happening so that we could be witnesses uh, subsequently if there was any question, as in fact there now is, about uh, whether the police had done any damage to the premises. We saw them coming out at the time with their crowbars and their hammers and so on. And it took place in four baths in the city of Toronto. If you had have asked me that even five minutes before the raid, I would have said, I don't think there's a possibility of a raid at this bath. I just don't believe it. I think it's impossible. I we'll have to get some shots of all of this. Yeah, I'm obvious. Do you want to try and get that top bit as well? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can just come towards me, so you... Okay. Yeah. Obviously, you the way? somebody was pushed into the, the wall there. Yes, very obviously. And we have a... Uh, through the wall there, as if that was an okay. Can you come on this side of me? Sure, and I can get to the wall. Okay. Try and maybe get somebody who's thrown up against the wall there as, as well. I'm going to show that I missed it. Okay. Okay. Here's you can get a shot of the door. You notice how they just went right oh, for the lock and smashed the, all right, the whole uh, mechanism yeah. after kicking it by the looks of it as well. That wasn't yeah. enough. Okay, and uh, you can, can you just stand on that across the shirt? Sure. The raids were estimated to cost the taxpayers of Toronto a quarter of a million dollars, and police with crowbars and sledgehammers are alleged to have caused over $35,000 damage. The Richmond Street Health Emporium, which sustained the bulk of the damage, has had to go out of business. I decided to go up to this individual and I asked him what's going on. And they told me that this is a raid and that we're all foundins. I says, what do you mean a raid? What is a foundin? He says, you're all being charged for being in a body house. I was flabbergasted. I still had no idea what he was talking about. And I said to him, what do you mean a body house? I mean, these places have been in operation for the last 16 years. You people have known about it. Uh, why suddenly tonight, of all nights, it's a body house? At this point, the, the officer really didn't want to talk to me. Uh, he just brushed it off as saying, well, I'm just doing my job. <laughs>